Lately I've been journaling in my notes, trying to write down thoughts that I've been having about myself and my creativity and like where where I am in my journey and where I think I'm going. <laughs> and this could be a very boring video for a lot of people, but I think this is an important video for me to make uh, for people that are watching me, for people that are watching my channel, seeing what I'm making and what I'm doing, and um, to set set the stage for where I am and where I plan to go and just place everything where it needs to be placed. I journal on my iPad quite a bit. Um, I just use the Notes app and I'm not gonna read my entries, but I'm just gonna read the first few things that I've written in these. There was something about talking about my feelings or illustrating my thoughts that's getting harder to do. That's literally the, the title that I have. I feel like there's so many things in the creative realm that automate our lives now or automate the thoughts now. We can go to ChatGPT and write a script. We can use an image generator to generate the image that we need. As someone who's super interested in technology alongside being super interested in just making things and being an artist, being a creator, and I think I use it too much. Um, I think I've used it too much to the point where now I have trouble illustrating what I'm thinking and what I'm doing by myself without using ChatGPT, without using some sort of generator instead of what actually can just come out of my head. Recently, more than recently, I have been cutting back ever since really journaling. I feel its effects, and I don't recommend anybody really define their whole character, hold their, their whole identity around what's, what something is able to produce for you. I'm finding a lot more value in just voicing my own opinions, and I guess I start. I only started because I think I forgot what I wanted to say. So like that's a personal journey that I went through, just uh, redefining what is my voice and finding what means something to me. In the times between the videos, it's always a, a toss up on, okay, how much of myself am I talking to, talking through me? and how much of myself am I talking through this idea of who I want to be. Does that make sense? Who started this journey in the first place? A very excited me, somebody who saved up every dollar and penny they could to give this to himself as a Christmas present. This is my first ever camera, and on the front I wrote the start of it all. There are so many points in this journey where I thought about selling this. <laughs> I mean, I painted it so it would not be easy to sell, but by selling this and taking whatever money I could from this would would have been very helpful. Every now and then that's still the case. That's a, that's a part of my journey that I've never really shared. This has never been very easy for me to keep, keep continuing. I am very much a person that lives as my future self and not as my current self because my current self is in this state of hardship and the state of trying to figure it out all the time and that's the journey the people that are watching my videos now are a part of that journey they're not these fans they're not these um, viewers that keep coming back and they're subs my subscribers they're not my subscribers I'll, they are <laughs> but they're a part of the journey um, to where there's the subscriber. I think it's hard to show this side of what it is to be like a content creator now. It's hard to show that I'm a real human being. <laughs> I have real problems. It doesn't feel smart to show the complications of my life online. It's stuff that I don't want to remember. It's stuff that I don't want to share. <laughs> I don't want other people to remember about me because it's not that vision of who I want to be later on. It can give you like an imposter syndrome sometimes. When you finally get like a little taste of what it means to be this person that you want to be, you don't feel like you deserve it. And I've felt that so many times here in the city that it's difficult 
the process. One of the reasons why I feel like I need to make this video is because I used to make videos like this all the time. I used to talk about who I am currently and talk about the dream of who I want to be. And I've stopped doing that hoping that others would realize that the dream I want to be is who I'm acting as. The thing about that is I feel as though I come off less and less myself thinking about portraying who I want to be. It's fun to play. It's fun to, uh, this is going to be a really harsh way of saying this. It's fun to act in the way that you would if you were a big YouTuber. It's fun to act the way that you would if you were successful. It's fun to act the way that you would if your dreams were reality. And that's not to like put down where I am now. <laughs> I feel as though it's like a manifestation if I portray this, this personality that I would like to be. One of the biggest things that I've ever done for myself is moving to New York City. Pure excitement that I had after first landing here and moving here was great. Working at VaynerMedia, being able to say that I work for Gary V <laughs> was incredible. All throughout that like first stage of my New York journey, I was full time invested in trying to make it work. I moved to New York City with like $700 in my bank account total. You can't get an apartment with that. <laughs> you just can't. Um, and the first purchase that I made was a laptop so then I could do this editing job. 600 of that $700. So I was sitting there with like maybe $80 in my bank account. Fingers crossed that the next paycheck comes before we go out to eat next. I am very proud to say that it worked <laughs> and that I am here and that I've been here for almost three years now. But no part of this journey has been easy and it keeps challenging me in ways that I don't expect. One of the best things I did for myself was starting Creators NYC and doing the weekly meetups, having something that I had to do every single weekend, every Saturday, every morning, helped a lot. Got me out of my room feeling depressed, feeling like a failure, and then going to these meetups where I could present myself in a way that I felt like myself was excellent. Um, just being able to escape the reality for a bit and just live the life that I want to be living. I think I've only started to find an environment where I can actually foster good habits and be the creative person I want to be. This apartment, I'm really grateful for my roommate, Jared. I'm really grateful for my partner, Sam. I'm really grateful that every week when I go to the meetups, I see friends and people that I feel, <laughs> like everyone that comes to those meetups, I feel invested in them. I feel like I want to I wanna see all of them be so successful. And sometimes stepping away from those meetups, I'm the tallest person in the world. I'm standing high, I am happy, I am excited. And sometimes I walk away from those meetups and I think, is there anyone out there that is just as invested and is excited for me to be successful? And those are the, those are the darker weekends where I get more serious in my thoughts um, and I start to not trust myself when it comes to what I'm creating. I feel like I failed a lot. I don't have regrets, <laughs> I'll say that, but I feel like I've failed a lot and I feel like I've made a lot of strides and I feel prepared. I think I have to be more of my current self because I've shown what I want to be and who I will be. <laughs> I feel like right now I need to show who, who I am because I don't show this version of myself that I'm working to be somebody else. I'm in this spot of reality that I have problems and I need to solve these problems and I need to work to solve these problems in my life. Yeah. It's videos like these that I record and never publish. 
And I think I've rambled quite a bit. I'm gonna be taking a lot of notes. My roommate, who uh, finds time for himself by doing his photography and by making his videos, and it's a, it's a piece of who he is, and that's how I feel about myself, but that's not how I'm presenting myself. I hope that this concept isn't like too out there of like trying to be somebody that you aren't yet. The quote that got me started thinking about this is a lyric. This is like something I'd get tattooed on myself now, but like I feel that strongly about it. You can't be everything you want to be before your time. To me, it's a reminder to slow down. It's a reminder to be present and to just trust that it'll all work out. You just have to be there and be ready for it. And when it's time, it'll finally be there. So I can't promise that I'm gonna make videos like this often. Definitely was just a roller coaster, unscripted. Just wanted to chat um, and talk and be open with where I am right now and how I'm feeling and I think that we all need to be reminded that even though maybe one day, one day that will all be true. One day that will be you. Um, it's important to remind yourself that you can only be who you are right now for so long until that's the reality. This is the journey. The end destination, <laughs> although it's great and although it's exciting, is not everything. Don't think I've ended a video smiling like this for a while. Go out there, create some videos of you being you, cause there ain't nobody like you. You can't be everything you wanna be before your time. You're not ready yet. Or maybe you are ready, it's just not the time yet. Okay, it's coming.